Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to our channel. As a quick disclaimer, remember that this is a fun activity video made for entertainment purposes and shouldn't be taken too seriously. With that said, have you ever found yourself relating to traits of both extroversion and introversion? Introverts tend to focus on their thoughts and feelings. Extroverts act based on external stimulation. And in case you were wondering, you can fall somewhere in between the two sides and change along the way too. So here's a quiz to figure out where you fall among these two personality traits. Don't forget to tally your letters. We'll add them up later. At the end of this video, we'll tell you the results. So let's begin. One, someone you don't know that well calls you over and talks about their personal woes and struggles. You had a five minute conversation. You, A, half attentively listen. B, interrupt and say that you're too busy for this. C, Work can wait, it's good to empathize with them. Or D, engage in a long drawn out chat, longer than five minutes. Number two, entering a door, you burst open to see a party of unfamiliar people. Your friend, the person who invited you, is nowhere to be found. You, A, dart out and text your friend to ask where they are. B, get inside awkwardly and look for them. Or C, Sit on a couch and strike up a chat with an approachable person. Oops, I forgot D. Barge in and insert yourself into a fun-loving circle. Your friend can wait. Number three, you're in an airplane with a stranger beside you. You, A, read a book, put on headphones and sleep. B, pretend they don't exist and respect their space. C, talk to them and fill them out if they wanna have a conversation. Or D, converse with them for the entire plane trip. Number four, you disagree with your colleague or classmate regarding a group project. You, A, just stay silent even if you disagree. B, speak up, but waver if they don't stop. C, defend your point of view strongly. Or D, rally up the rest of the team to join the conversation. Number five, your schedule is free over the weekend. You, A, enjoy the rest of the day with no plans at home. B, walk to the park by yourself and enjoy the sights and smells. C, consider calling your friend for a lunch date. D, pack up your schedule and make plans with several friends, ASAP. Number six, you have an important decision coming up and your choice has grave consequences. You, A, suffer from analysis paralysis and end up choosing an option you never intended. B, you relinquish your position and ask someone else to do it for you. C, you make a decision, but are at a stump on what happens next. Or D, you make a decision fast and delegate the roles to your team quickly. Number seven, you notice your friend continuing bad habits that you'd rather have them stop. You, A, don't say anything. You'd rather not create conflict. B, tell them about it gently. C, call them out for their actions. Or D, express your anger with conviction. <laughs> Number eight, do you think it's easy for people to get to know you? A, no, even my friends don't know everything. B, only my closest friends. C, I think I am, at least to my friends and family. Or D, I post about my life on social media every day. Number nine, can you have fun by yourself? A, that's the only time I have fun. B, yes, I love my alone time. C, I'd rather be with a close friend or two. Or D, no, I need to be around people. Last question, number 10. You meet someone new for the first time. You, A, say hi and part ways. Not particularly interested in small talk. B, have a short, casual conversation while maintaining a distance. C, Talk at length, but leave the obscure topics out the window. Or D, talk as if you're best friends. Okay, are you ready for the results? Tally up your points. Each letter is worth a different amount of points. A is one point, B is two points, C is three points, and D is four points. You're in group A if you scored 10 to 18, group B if you scored 19 to 26, group C if you scored 27 to 34, and group D if you scored 35 to 40. Group A, you're a textbook introvert. You don't like small talk. 
you maintain a small circle of friends and love and seek solitude. People who know you think of you as silent, maybe even shy, but you know it's just draining talking to people for extended periods. You'd rather stay home over the weekends doing a solitary hobby rather than going out to meet people most of the time. You are a genuine introvert. Group B, you are close to the middle of the spectrum, but you're leaning more towards introversion. You'd rather have deep conversations with your closest friends instead of meeting new people. Socializing can be draining, especially in unfamiliar situations, but you do need it every once in a while. However, with the right people, any day can be a blast. Group C, you're more closely extroverted. You enjoy meeting new people and learning about different walks of life. You do love a good party or gathering and have no problem catching the spotlight. You are also self-assured and highly idealistic, making you a great partner to be around for the more introverted of the bunch. And group D, there's little to no introverted bone in your body. You love getting to know people and the idea of spending a weekend at home sounds genuinely out of your realm of thought. Your hobbies are people-centric and you're crazy loyal to the friends that are lucky to have you around. You're the life of the party. Which group do you fall under? Have we missed anything? If your results were accurate, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video if you had fun taking the quiz. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. And as always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.